High Adventure. In tonight's story, we present Cloud Curtain. Tell Ralph to hurry up. I don't like the look of those clouds. Well, he says to fetch him in the valley. Well, that's nonsense. Let's get his hang glider in the trailer it's and... It's too late. He's on his way down to the valley already. Well, what's the matter with him? Why can't he listen? Are you two having a private fight, or can anyone join in? Alice says Ralph's flying down to the valley. Yeah, that's right. Come over to the crest and you can see him. Well, I told him the air's becoming very oh, turbulent. Oh, don't be such an old woman, Gerald. But listen to me. The air's becoming gusty, and Ralph isn't an look, experienced... Look, there he is. Everything's fine. Yeah, fine. Uh huh. Well, one of our famous high felt storms is on the way. Just look at those clouds. You can see the weather closing in at the west end of the valley. I don't have to tell you how dangerous it can be. Oh, come off it. Ralph will have landed in a couple of minutes. There's nothing to worry about. I told him we weren't going to fly anymore today. And I've had a great deal more experience at this sort of thing than any of you. Don't start lecturing us, please. It's very sweet of you to be our mother hen, but. Wait, really, it's... something. What? Something's wrong. What? Ralph. He looks as though he's in some sort of trouble. Look! Yes, you're right. He's losing control of the glider. A sharp gust of wind nearly turned him upside down there. Did you see that? He's very far above the ground. Well, maybe not, but he's high enough to be... Oh, no, look! He's dropping like a stone. He's going to hit the ground. Uh, come on, get back to the car. Right. But don't stand there gawking. Move! Oh. Come on. Okay, oh, come in. He disappeared into the tall grass and, and the glider went over and over. I wish people would listen to good advice. Oh, look, hmm? he's come down close to the road, thank goodness. Uh, well, it's going to take us a few minutes to get oh, down no. to the valley. Uh, come on, hurry up, I'm you two. We're going as fast as we can. Do you think he's hurt? We'll know the answer to that when we get to him. Uh, here's the car. Uh, come on, get aboard. Okay. That's it. Gosh, those clouds look ugly. You're telling me. And that's Hale heading this way. <laughs> Hale? Well, how do you know? Because I've lived in the Transvaal for years. Believe me, there's hail coming. Those clouds are an ice storm. It's a time for fix and corral, hack and pinion pine, and a time for bringing in the horses off a winter feed down Mesa country. Maybe it's your kind of country. If so, Paul Revere is your kind of cigarette. Rich in flavor, big on taste. The pride of tobaccos. Paul Revere. Die bedrijvige veel eisende lewe wat jy lei, verg baie van jou maag. Sprankelende, verfrissende Eno actieve vruchtesout begin dadelijk oortollige maagsuur neutraliseer om jou maag na sy normale toestand te herstel. Eno sit weer lus in die lewe. Sprankelende, verfrissende Eno, borrel jou oorlikheid weg. Eno actieve vruchtesout, gewone of verfrissende suurlimoen, noodhulp vir maag. When you're so bone weary, you could cry An ache so bad, you think you're gonna die A rest assured man A rest assured man will really set you free Yeah, rest assured beds Comfort, support, pamper and relax your whole body in more comfort than you've ever known before Rest assured beds Comfort that sets you free To I bought it with my slice. Come on into the MBS and get your slice. I got it in a trice. It's easy with your slice. I got my slice. They treat you very nice. Come on into the MBS and get your slice. It cost a pretty price, but I got it with my slice. Come on into the MBS and get your slice. I 
hunts somewhere around here. It's hard to be sure just where he is in this tall grass and bush. Yes, but I think he's near those trees ahead to the left. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Well, I'll stop the car near the next curve in the road. You know, it's strange. The sky's getting dark and it's only four in the afternoon. An old-timer in Pretoria told me about a hailstorm they had about 30 years ago. With stones the size of tennis balls. Oh, come on, Gerald. You're trying to scare us to death. Not really. This part of the world gets some of the most vicious lightning and hail anywhere. I'm not trying to frighten you. I just want you to be prepared. Well, I can't get over the way it's getting dark. It's like a giant black curtain's being just drawn across the sky. It's pitch black in the west, and, and over there in the east, the sky's just cloudless. It's weird. Yes, and dangerous. Now, we've got to get Ralph under cover. Come on. Are you sure you're not exaggerating about that hail? Sometimes the hail's only the size of small marbles. But I'd say those clouds coming at us have got more of a punch than usual. You know, a few years ago, I saw cattle which had been caught in the open during a severe hailstorm. And they were beaten to death. Good grief. And the lightning's no joke either. I don't want us to be standing out in the open felt when the storm breaks. Oh, look, there's an opening in the bush over there. Huh? Yes, you're right. Now, come on, this way. Follow me. And hurry. Oh, oh everything's so still at the moment. Yeah, well, don't let that fool you. Oh, the, the temperature's dropping. Can you feel it? Mm. It was blazing hot earlier today, and now... Well, now it feels like like ice. Yes, and that's precisely what it is. Look, look, I can see a wing of the hand glider. Where? Over there, to the right. Yes, yes, I can see it. Oh, Ralph! Ralph, can you hear us? Over here. Oh, oh there he is. Are, are you all right? Probably a matter of opinion. <laughs> well, he sounds hale and hearty anyway. Yeah, you know what he's like. He thinks everything's a joke. Well, this little lot is far from a joke. He's lucky he wasn't killed. I'm over this way. Oh, well, there he is. Are you hurt? Didn't manage a very good landing, I'm afraid. But why are you lying down? I do believe I, oh, I've broken my leg. Uh -huh. well, let's take a look. Uh, the word of advice. Oh? Keep away from those rocks over there. While I was waiting for you, I noticed a couple of scorpions are there in residence. Scorpions? Yes, I've heard tell that the baboons around here eat them. They break off the stings and they... Oh! Uh, oh dear. I'm afraid you're right. There's a bone broken here. Oh, all right, all right. Well, I'd take it easy. I already know there's a bone broken. My nervous system informed me. Oh, that's nice. Now what are we going to do? Well, as a matter of urgency, we've got to get away from here. Hmm. I've never seen a sky like that before. It's, oh, it, it's terrifying. Yeah. Alice, mm -hmm. now listen. You support him on the one side, and I'll support him on the other. Okay. Aren't you going to administer some first aid? <laughs> on the other hand, let's get the blazes out of here. Right, come on. I'll lift you. Oh. I want you to... Try and help with your good leg, okay? Oh, all right. Right. Oh, Come on. Go. Oh, uh, oh. There we go. Right. I'd carry you if you weren't such a heavyweight. I'm not a heavyweight. It's, oh, it's you that's just a lightweight. Uh, lean on me, Ralph. All right, thanks. Okay, there we go. I'll support you on the other side. Now, can you, can you hop along, or is it too painful? Hop? Are you kidding? All right, let's try. One, two, three, go. Oh, right, go. Oh. Oh, this isn't yeah. much fun, is it? Can you two manage? How far is the car? Yeah, it's not far. We'll be there in a minute. There's a breath of wind. It's amazing. That's right. But it'll all break loose in a minute. And when it does, I want us to be undercover. Is the car going to be hailed? If it's light hail, there's no problem. But any really heavy stuff, and well, I don't know. There are no houses in the valley. We'll have to try and get out of here and it's make up... It's weird, the way there isn't a breath of wind. And everything looks such a... such a funny colour in the half-light. Oh. Oh. How much... how much further to the car? Don't worry, it's not far now. Oh, good grief, did you see that? I oh, know, we saw it. Just oh, keep moving. The, the, the lightning hit the side of the hill and sort of... sort of streaked across the rocks. Yes, but the car's just ahead. Uh, you go and open one of the back doors for us, will you? Right. If it gets any darker, we'll have to drive with the headlamps on. <laughs> I mean, at four on a summer's afternoon. I can hardly believe it. As soon as we get Ralph in the car, we can get going. The sky is going to open any minute. I hope it's just rain that comes down and not hail. Oh, 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 this leg, it's killing me. Yeah. Right then. <laughs> Careful now. Let's, let's ease you onto the back all seat. All right, all right. Careful now. Oh, Take it easy. Oh, what a easy. weight. Oh. Just look at the way those clouds are rolling. You know, it looks like like washing turning in a machine. 
Now just, just lie back on the seat, Ralph. You okay? Okay as I can be. Oh, yeah. oh, fine. Thanks. Good. Good. Now then, everybody into the car. Hmm. That's it. Well, they do say that one of the safest places to be during lightning is inside a car. Oh, why is that? Well, the car is rubber tires. It's insulation. And it's not foolproof. Well, what do you mean? Well, some time ago, I read about a garage that was hit by lightning. Oh, the petrol tank of a car parked and the building exploded. Oh, charming. Yeah, but wait a minute. The explosion was caused by a fire, which was caused by the lightning. Now, the garage was on fire. And that's why the tank exploded. Well, look, let's get going, shall we? Right. <laughs> Well, we'll be out of the valley in a few minutes. Oh, I'll be happier when we're on the tarred road again. The heavy train is going to turn this track into a swamp. <gasps> what was that noise? <gasps> it was a hailstone. It bounced off the roof. Sounded more like a baseball to me. Oh, that was another one. The hail started. <laughs> the rear windscreen's just been bombed. Oh. Right. We've just got to get undercover. But, but there isn't any round here. You can see what that hailstone did to the rear windscreen. When the full force of the hail starts coming down, we won't be able to see where we're going. It'll wreck the front windscreen as well. Hello! There goes the front uh, windscreen. Oh, no. Now, oh, listen, there's a spanner in the cubby hole. Please, pass it to me. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to knock a hole in the glass so I can see where I'm going. Now, now hurry up. All right. The sounds of the hail, you won't need a spanner. The stones will do it for you. Oh, it sounds more like bricks than hailstones. Give me the spanner. Here you are. Thanks. Just, just look at the size of that hail. I've never seen anything like it in my life before. But apparently, years ago, they had a similar storm round here. It, it's falling on the road like snowballs, or ice balls, or whatever you want to call it. The whole car's vibrating. You can't drive in this lot. It's smashing out the glass on the front and rear windscreens. Oh, no. No, we're going to be killed. Don't be stupid. We are not. Everybody move as far from the windscreens as possible. Mr. Hale's getting into the car through the opening. Oh, no. Cover your faces. Some of the splintering eyes is like shrapnel. I tell you, we're going to be killed. We'll be all right, I tell you. Now, don't panic. How long do you think the hail will last? Well, it should be over in 10 or 15 minutes. Maybe even sooner. Yeah, and by that time it'll have smashed in the roof of the car. Well, you're a proper pessimist, aren't you? Yes, she is, rather. I'd keep quiet if I were you. It's your fault we're in this predicament. Oh, are you <laughs> sure you that I have got no control over the weather? No, but if you had returned to the car instead of making that last flight... Hey, would be now okay. listen, man. It isn't going to help matters by fighting. Well, it's his fault. All right, I'm sorry. But you, you're never sorry about anything. What are you complaining about the one with a broken leg. Yeah, and before long, we're all going to have our heads bashed in because of you. We are not going to have our heads bashed in. This tin can of yours can't stand the pining forever. Just look at the bars. Oh, just keep your face covered and stop squealing. If you ask me, we're more likely to freeze to death. I not believe how cold it's got. Oh, you're probably feeling like that as a result of shock. It's your injury. Uh, there's a blanket on the floor. Just wrap it round you, will you? No, no. I'm all right. Oh, don't argue, Ralph. Here, I'll help you with the blanket. If this hail doesn't stop soon, it won't be just a blanket. It'll be his shroud. Rothman's Extra Length, Finest Filter, and the best tobacco money can buy give true king-size flavour. That's why, all over the world, Rothman's King Size is offered with pride, accepted with pleasure. Rothman's King Size really satisfies. We're a family of six, and Aquafish serves all our needs. My husband's particularly fussy about a toothpaste that really cleans his teeth. And Aquafresh serves his purpose. My two teenage girls like the blue gel in Aquafresh that keeps their breath fresh. And for the two little ones, fluoride is essential. Not one of the children has ever had a filling. You can see why Arlene Traub and her family prefer Aquafresh. Aquafresh does it all in one. Mum. Are you an Aquafresh mum?
stopped at last. The hail stopped. It stopped almost as suddenly as it began. And the road's covered in the stuff. Just look at it. Don't just sit there. Start the car. Listen. Listen. The wind's beginning to rise. Oh, yes. The sky's still pitch black with cloud. I suppose the rain is next on the agenda. Rain? Well, let's get out of here. I've never seen so much hail in my life. It isn't going to be easy to get through it. The car looks as though somebody's been over it with a sledgehammer. Well, we're moving, and that's all that matters. It is getting stronger by the second. Look back there. The sheet of rain. Do you see it? It's sweeping into the valley. Do you, do you think there's going to be a cloudburst? We're riding with lights on virtually in the middle of the summer's afternoon. But it's a fair assumption that there's more than a drop or two of rain up there. Here it comes. We'll be drenched. And the wind will blow it in here through the broken windows. Why don't you try to cheer up? Cheer up? up? Oh, sure. Can't you drive any faster, Gerald? Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm doing my best. The car's sliding all over the place. This is a gravel track without any drainage. Rain's getting thicker. We won't be able to see where we're going in a minute. I shall turn the road into a quagmire and we'll be stuck here. Oh, but you're a real little ray of sunshine, aren't well, you? it's all your fault. I can't see further than the front of the bonnet. We're going to have to stop. <sighs> This is ridiculous. We can't just sit here. Well, I can't see ahead to drive, can I? I mean, the rain's coming down like a solid curtain. How far is the main road? It's a few kilometres. Three or four, I'd say. Well, maybe one of us should try and get over there and, and try and find help. Uh-uh. There isn't going to be any traffic along the road in this weather. Well, there might be a car or two. Yeah, Alice is right. Uh, are you volunteering to go and find out? Suppose it starts hailing again, huh? No, no, no. no. I very much doubt that. We've had the hail... Now it's just going to rain. It isn't just raining, it's going to be a flood. Now, listen, we can't spend the night sitting here. We'll, 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 we'll die of exposure. I imagine we'll survive. It's Ralph I'm worried about. Tell me, how's the leg feeling? It's rather, rather unpleasant. I can imagine it is. We don't have any splints, but uh, let's see if I can make you as comfortable as possible under the circumstances. Now, listen, I'll climb into the back. Alice... The first aid box is under your seat. Uh, I want you to pass it to me. Right, Rob. Now, what are you going to do? You'll see. Just take it easy, will you? Oh, look at that rain, will you? It's been pouring for over an hour. We're sitting in the middle of a minor river. I mean, it's not going to be easy to get the car out, even when the rain does stop. It'll be hours and hours before this road is passable again. And I mean hours after the rain stops. Well, what are we going to do? Well, as soon as the rain lets up a bit, I'll make for the main road. Well, why don't you go right now? Well, hmm? it's raining so hard, it'd be like trying to walk along under a waterfall. Well, it's bound to ease off before much longer, surely. I certainly hope so. So do I. Well, you've got to try and get help before it's dark. I mean, nighttime dark, not this, this awful overcast. Yeah, well, uh, I'll just wait another half hour, and if the rain still hasn't stopped... Well, I'll go anyway. It'll take a four-wheel drive to get down the road to here. <laughs> if you ask me, we'll need a helicopter to get up. I've never seen so much rain in my life. Makes you wonder where it's all coming from. Oh, isn't this rain ever going to stop? <sighs> What's the time now? It's um, nearly quarter to six. Well, and you better get started. You said you were going to the main road for help. All right, I'll get started. Well, it's raining so hard, you can barely see your hand in front of your face out there. Yes, but let's face it, it won't be any easier tonight. Oh, you're right, it won't. And we've just got to get assistance for Ralph. Hey, what's the matter with him? Ralph? Oh, oh, goodness, he's unconscious. Unconscious? Well, why is that? He was all right a moment ago. Yeah, but he was in bad pain. Move aside. Let me take a look at him. Oh, no. It's... Is, is he dying? Oh, do shut up, Felicia. I think he's fainted from the pain. But I don't get it. He was talking to us and then... Well, he, he didn't seem too bad. Uh, maybe. But unlike you, he wasn't trying to make us all edgy. Are you going to start picking on me no, now? No, for heaven's sake, nobody's picking on you. it's not my fault we're stuck here, is it? Now, listen. I'm going to head for the main road on foot. Maybe the rain will stop while I'm on the way. No, Gerald. Gerald, you can't, you can't just leave us here with Ralph. He may die. But if you don't keep quiet, I'm going to slap you. Oh, just you dare. Just you try. Hey, now, will you cut that out? We've got enough trouble without fighting among ourselves. Now, I'm going to go... You're to not the... going anywhere. You could get lost out there in the rain. As I recall, you were all for sending Gerald to the main road not long ago. No matter what. What are we going to do if Ralph dies? He oh, isn't sake. going to die. I'll be as quick as I can. Oh, 
this is terrible. Well, you aren't making things any easier, Listen, are you? I am cold and Listen, I'm wet. everything's going to be all right. Gerald will fetch help. There is a deluge going on. You can't just stroll up the track to the main road as though he was taking a, a, a Sunday afternoon constitutional, can he? Oh, we know half the track has been washed away by now. You'll get to the main road. It isn't that far away. Oh, in this rain, it may as well be on the moon. Oh, stop talking oh. rubbish. Oh. Oh. What's going on? Oh, well, you're back with us, are you? Oh, did I pass out? It seems so. Uh, Joe's just gone to fetch help. See the rain still coming down in buckets? The lift? Oh, thank heavens you came along. <sighs> Did your car break down? Now, listen. I've left three of my friends in my car in the valley, and one of them's got a broken leg. Uh, maybe internal injuries as well. In the valley? Yes, the car's stuck there, and the track's washed away in places. It took me nearly two hours to climb out of the valley, and I've been waiting here for nearly 20 minutes for a car to come along. And when I saw your truck, you I... You say the track in the valley is washed away in places. That's right. The incline leading up to the cutting, which leads out of the valley, is completely impossible. Uh, one side of the cutting has collapsed across the track. Oh, it's possible to get into the valley from the north. The drainage around there is usually pretty good in bad weather. Although this lot is exceptionally bad. Well, listen, let's get to the nearest police station and report the accident, can we? The police? The police have got their hands full at the moment. The hail and heavy rains We've have... got to do something about the people I've left in the valley. This truck of mine is a four-wheel drive vehicle, and I know the valley like the back of my hand. I'd say we would get your friends out from the north side. Then let's go. Right. Did you get hail in the valley? You should see my car. It's been smashed. Front and rear windscreens broken, and the bodywork looks like a load of bricks was dropped on. I was very lucky. My place missed the hail. Mm. I farm about ten kilometers from here. I see. By the way, what are you doing in the valley? Well, we'd been hang gliding. Hang gliding? Yeah. <laughs> I see. Well, this morning it was a beautiful day. The storm came up so quickly. You can say that again. And it looks like it intends to keep raining for hours here. I must say, you certainly know your way around here. I should do. I've lived in this area for 40 years. All the same. Driving along here at night and in the rain is like, well, feeling one's way through a coal mine. The track's just ahead. We'll follow it southeast as best we can. We should eventually come across your car. Hopefully, they'll see our headlights through the rain. My car's fitted with those emergency flashes. You know, a, a gadget that makes the head and tail lights wink on and off. If they switch it on, we'll be yeah, able to... That's just what they're doing now, over there to the right. What? Do you see the lights? Uh, yes, yes, of course, that's them. Uh, you'll be there in a the jiffy. They must have been wondering what happened to me. I've been gone for over three and a half hours. It couldn't have been easy climbing out of the valley in this weather. It wasn't, believe me. I feel ruined. Oh, uh, well, we're here now. Thank heavens it's you. I was beginning to think you'd got lost or something. Well, let's get Ralph into the truck. Now, open the door for me. There's, there's something I've got to tell you. About Ralph? No, 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 about Felicia. Well, what about her? Well, about half an hour ago, she left the car. She what? She said you must have got lost. She just panicked and ran off. Which way did she go? I'm not sure. That way, I think, down the track. In this darkness and rain, I, I lost sight of her in a couple of seconds. Nice to see you back, Gerald. How are you, Ralph? I feel a lot better when the doctor gives me something to kill the pain. Uh, otherwise, I'm fine. I'll give you a hand to get him into the truck. Oh, uh, good, thanks. But, but what are we going to do about Felicia? I don't know. Well, we can't go looking for her now. Not in the night and the rain. It would be hopeless. That's all my fault, as he said. I got us into this predicament. Well, this isn't the time to debate it. We've got to get you to a hospital. If Felicia is left out all night in this weather, she'll probably die. Well, what do you suggest, Mike? And it would be like, well, like, like looking for a needle in a haystack, as they say. Are we just going to leave her in the valley? No, a search can be organized at daylight. Other than that, I'm afraid there isn't anything anyone can do in this weather. She should have remained with you in the car, man. When she ran off into the night, she did a very foolish thing. Introducing the special mild cigarette from Rothmans. 
Rothman's King Size Special Mild. Extra special, extra mild. Enjoy the great taste of Rothman's King Size Special Mild. You've worked hard all week. It's Sunday, time to rest. And you can't very well rest if you spend all the time in the kitchen. That's why Enterprise Meat Products are such a good idea for Sunday lunch. They're easy to prepare and made from only the choicest ingredients. So give your family Enterprise and make Sunday your day of rest too. Enterprise Meats. They're grandma good. Voices you know from your radio, the faces you see on your TV, the who's who's the reviews, the news behind the news, what goes on behind the scenes, family radio and TV, voices and faces in far away places, family radio and TV. The rain stopped. Uh, for the time being, I think it will start again later. Why are we following the track in this direction? We came into the valley from the other side. I'm going out this way just in case that friend of yours is heading along here. The chances are that she stayed with the track. And she couldn't have got far in the half hour since she left the car. She had a torch with her, but the batteries were almost flat. I did warn her. I don't see any torchlight. The batteries are probably conked out. It took me two hours to climb out of the valley, and I started in daylight. What's more... Alicia not only went off in the dark with a miserable little torch, but she headed in the wrong direction. I'm going to turn off the track in a minute and make for the north. If we don't see her pretty soon, look, then I'm... Look, there what? she is. Where? Straight ahead, in the lights. Look, she's running towards us. Right. Uh-oh, she's fallen. Come on, let's get to her. Felicia, are you all right? I think she's exhausted. Well, at least we've found her. Good grief, this is like trying to walk in quicksand. Uh, Felicia? <laughs> Give me a hand to lift her, will you? I'll carry her back to the truck. I've lifted heavier loads than this young lady. Now, uh, up, uh, up she comes. Uh, uh, I, I saw the headlights. Just take it easy. You're going to be all right. I got lost. I, I couldn't find the car again. Everything's fine now. Don't worry. I, I thought you weren't coming back. I thought you got lost. Just don't don't talk. Try and relax. Hello, Felicia. This is beginning to look like a hospital train, isn't it? Yeah, wrap my coat around her. It started raining again. Everyone aboard, let's get out of here. Here we are, only a matter of 10 or 15 kilometers from civilization, and it feels as though we were stranded in the middle of nowhere. When the weather goes berserk, it reminds us just how fragile we are. Not so? And we need reminding sometimes. High Adventure is produced by Henry Duffenthal.